Welcome, Waffle Wolfettes. We are back with the brilliant Hogwarts Legacy on the PlayStation 5. And we are playing through this game on hard difficulty. And I hope you guys and girls are having an absolutely fantastic day. Now, in a previous video, quite a lot of stuff happened. First things first, we created our very own fifth year student, Merlin Wolfington. We then met up with Professor Eleazar and a man named George from the Ministry of Defence. Started heading towards Hogwarts. George then mentioned a package that he received from Eleazar's wife. And they started checking it out and it was this random goblin metal device. And then we could see some sort of magic on this device that no one else could see. We interacted with it, found a key and then our carriage got attacked by a dragon. Now we were falling through the sky about to be eaten and then Eleazar grabbed the key and it was also a port key and port keys in the Harry Potter universe teleport you to a random location. So we got teleported to a random location, had to solve a few puzzles, uh, Merlin had to interact with everything because we can see a magic that no one else can see. Then we ended up at Gringotts and we spoke to a nice helpful goblin who took me to Vault 12 which this key was for. We've arrived at Vault 12 and now we are having to do all sorts of random shenanigans to find out what is actually hidden within Vault 12. Because basically there seems to be a bunch of defences preventing you from getting to whatever's inside of Vault 12. So at the moment, it's sort of like the Philosopher's Stone. There's loads of things defending it to stop you from getting to it. But that's what we're doing at the moment. We're making our way to whatever is inside Vault Number 12 at Gringotts and we also saw a rather shady goblin when we was on our way to this vault so that might be something else we need to be aware of but yeah quite a lot of stuff happened in the previous video it was a very eventful one especially when we nearly died by a dragon but Merlin Wolfington has been separated from Professor Eleazar so we've casted Lumos and we are now looking the for him. Of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Yeah, these wisps that you see right here, you could basically use these to lead you towards your next objective. Especially if you want to turn off the minimap and not have it, you know, filling up the screen. Then you can use these little wisps just by pressing up on the D-pad to lead you to your next uh, objective. It's very nice. It's all like in Ghost of Tsushima when you have the wind leading you in the right direction. It's kind of like that. I'll tell you what, whatever's inside this vault better be worth all of this aggro. That's where they're leading me. That glow again. Oh, it looks like we've got to do another one of these statue puzzles on the floor. But that magic I just saw right there, only Merlin can see it. No one else can see it. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Oh, that's, oh, that's free. Oh, there we go. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of there. Just remember, I'll try and go to stupefy them, and it stuns them. Hold triangle during protect Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy counter attack. Stunned enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Yeah, that's basically what I told you in the previous video and this one. Uh, also, um, you can turn off those numbers that float above the enemy's heads. So we'll probably turn those off once we're done with all this because it kind of ruins the immersion a little bit, doesn't it? Seeing these random numbers floating above people's heads. Plus, they've got a health bar anyway, so you don't need to see the numbers. Unless you want to monitor the damage you're dishing out, then I guess it's useful. But you're going to know that just by hitting the health bar. Right, we have to practice stupefying that. Just remember, hold triangle. I like how you stunned a completely different one. <laughs> Oh shit! Oh, 
We're done? Yeah. Lumos. Man, I love that sound that plays through the DualSense controllers. When you cast Lumos, there's this little, like, nice magical sound that comes out of the DualSense controller. It is beautiful. I've played about four or five hours of this off camera now, and this game is so amazing, Wolf and Wolf. Honestly, they have done a sublime job. A little bit rough around the edges in some places, but other than that, man, it's a, easily a 9 out of 10. It might even be a very rare 10 out of 10 from me. We will have to see by the time we get to the end of the game, but it has been fantastic so far. Absolutely sublime. Everything I would want in a Harry Potter game. Yeah, this is what we found in the previous video. We interacted with this random mirror on the wall and only we could see it. Professor Eleazar couldn't see it. But this adventure we're going on right now, this was sent to Professor Eleazar, well, sent to George at the Ministry of Defence by Professor Eleazar's wife because they wanted to keep this away from Ranrock, who is the leader of the Goblin Uprising. So whatever we find in this place must be very important. Look at those little embers across the floor, those little balls of red magic. That's beautiful, ain't it? Nice. Is this one of the basins that we see in a... Uh, in a... Uh, Harry Potter, where Dumbledore takes like a thought or a memory out of his head and then places it in the water. Looks like that, doesn't it? Uh, there you are. How did you... What? Is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead. Yep, just like the film. And the book, I guess. All is in place. The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed. 
but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We would it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. <laughs> I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have it. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Go on, mate, chop him up. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. I didn't see any locket. Hey, look, the Hogwarts Express. Hey, did we beat the train here? Just goes to show you how unreliable trains are. I kind of wanted to end the previous video here, but... Yeah, it took a lot longer than I expected. Portkey Games, Hogwarts Legacy. The Adventures of Merlin Warfington, the greatest wizard to ever visit Hogwarts. I reckon I could be a voice actor. Depending on the voice you want, I reckon I could be a voice actor. I'm very limited in my ability though, only certain voices. <laughs> oh man, look at this stunning place. Oh good, we haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, 
I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Jealous. Black. Prepare yourself to meet the Headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Oh, look at that delicious food! Oh, yes! Give me it all! There's cakes everywhere! Look, Harry Potter is in the game! How are you doing, Harry? Professor Weasley! We've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. <laughs> Fucking creepy hat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Okay, um, as I mentioned in the previous video, I'll quickly mention it again quickly. If you go onto the Wizarding World website, you can basically do a bunch of quizzes and stuff, and you can be put into a house, and you can also receive your uh, very own wand and your very own Patronus charm. If you do that on the Wizarding World website, then connect it to your Warner Brother Games website, then log into your Warner Brother Games website on Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, you could be put into the hash you got on that website and also receive the wand you got on that website when you go to Ollivander's and stuff like that. Because at the moment we're using a borrowed wand. So if you want to do it like that, you can. But I never did any of that off camera. Uh, I did this just the way the Hogwarts Legacy wants you to do it by doing it in game. Because I thought it'd be more fun for you guys and girls. But yeah, let's uh, let's let's answer some questions. Off camera, I'm in Ravenclaw. I would prefer to get Hufflepuff because I feel like they are underrated. Or maybe Slytherin. I don't want Gryffindor though, because uh, everyone's probably going to go with Gryffindor. They're the popular one, isn't they? It's where Harry Potter is. Uh, I can't wait to start classes. I mean, in, in this game, that's true. But in real life, I wouldn't. So I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. I wonder... Mm. <laughs> I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm, what is it? Oh man, I get to pick. Daring, curiosity, loyalty, ambition. Man, what would you detect in me? Because Merlin Warfington is me. So, uh, what would you detect in me? I mean, you would de definitely detect loyalty. But I think my ambition is probably going to be more powerful. I've got some fucking ambition, Wolf Morphets. Uh, curiosity? Nah. Daring? Eh, sort of. Ambition. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. You're goddamn right. Mm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition. An eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. 
What you trying to say, mate? What you trying to say? Slytherin house known for cunning, ambition, and a hunger for power. If I think if I had picked loyalty, I would have got a different one. Oh, you can choose a different house. I think I might accept it. But I feel like Slytherin, uh, judging by my poll I did on YouTube, Slytherin looked very popular. I'm going to go with Slytherin just because the way that I'm going to play this game and the way that Merlin uh, Wolfington is going to behave in dialogue options would definitely fit a Slytherin. I'm basically going to uh, act like how I would want to act if I went back to school. <laughs> okay, we're going we're to go with Slytherin. Yeah, we'll go with Slytherin. You belong in Slytherin. I'm not a villain, I promise. And plus it's green too, my favourite colour. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Boo! Egg him! Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. Huh? But, don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Yeah, but, but what about all that food? What a waste. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honour to show you to your common room. Right this way. I'm so glad they made a Weasley in this game. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Oh, but that's a cool door. I ain't seen this off camera. Because I'm in Ravenclaw. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. If only school was like this. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. I gotta be honest with you, mate. This does not look like a very warm room. I mean, these floors, for one, are definitely going to be freezing cold. And they are not going to help contain the heat in this room. The, the warmth is straight gone through the floor. <laughs> this is going to be a flipping freezing room. No wonder the Slytherins are always so grumpy. This is the real reason why Draco Malfoy and his two goons are always being naughty. They're freezing cold. They never get a proper, proper night's sleep. Everyone treats them like villains when they've not even done anything wrong just because they're in the same house as Lord Voldemort was in. Man, poor guys. No wonder. No, see, Slytherins are misunderstood. Really, they're absolute legends. I've always liked Slytherin. I've always thought they were cool. Not Draco Malfoy. He's a little shitbag. <laughs> but... The rest of the, just the house in general and the colours and all that. I've always thought it was cool. Man, lovely. I don't know if what hash you pick affects anything. I think it's just you pick which one that you like the most or you just let the hat put you in a random house. I don't think it affects gameplay. It just affects the kinds of characters that are going to be in your house with you. But you can interact with characters from all different houses so it doesn't really matter really. Just affects your starting area, I suppose. 
Can I go in there? Oh, is this the... Is this the girls' dormitory? Oh, I better not come... Oh, hang on a minute. What's, what, what, what's going on here? The girls... The girls... If this is the girls' dormitory, they've got... They've got flipping apples for them. Jesus Christ, Merlin, you fat shit. How the hell did you just eat an apple in two bites? What's that all about, mate? Gonna give yourself indigestion, you weirdo. Man, I definitely... You're supposed to be me, Merlin, and I definitely don't eat apples that quick. Oh, we can run. Sorry. <laughs> I suppose some introductions are in order. That new fifth year must be different. Starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. Wonder where they're from. They're lucky they didn't end up as dragon food, like that poor man from the ministry. Did you see the way they just waltzed in at the end of the sorting ceremony last night? Ah, oh, it feels just like I'm back at school again. A bunch of people judging me that don't even know me. Man, this game is very realistic. <laughs> Stop fucking it, look, right? Kid Beowulf might have been relatively uh, placid, but older me, aka me, I ain't. <laughs> I don't put up with the shit. Oh man, this is what I love doing. I'm going to do this so much in this play for you. Ready? Oh, oh, 10 out of 10. Sebastian Swallow. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figgs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. I like how I accidentally called him, uh, <laughs> Sebastian Swallow. It's Sallow. Okay. Uh, it was terrifying. Pfft. It was exciting. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What were you reading? What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. That is true. I mean, plus we can also see ancient magic. And we don't know what kinds of spells that's going to lead to. That could lead to some stuff that nobody knows how to do. We could proper show off at Hogwarts, mate. What do you mean? You know what he means, Merlin. Don't play dumb. Nice to meet you. It was nice meeting you, Sebastian. I'll let you get back to your book. Nice meeting you too. Good luck today. Introduce yourself to Amelda and Ominis. 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 I've got to be honest, the Slivering Common Room is pretty damn cool, ain't it? Just not a place I would want to sleep. It's got like a, uh, like a, an Elden Ring Bloodborne-esque kind of appeal to it. Well, more like Bloodborne, actually. Yes, yeah, it feels very Bloodborne. Or maybe Dark Souls 1. Yeah. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Oh, I thought you were talking to me then. I was going to say, I'd do what I want, love. I'd have played a bit of chess. Wizard's chess. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Yeah, we heard you the first time. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> Checkmate. Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, oh, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day. Taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. All right, Amelda. Relax, love. You trying to flirt with me or something? I wish you had been there. We had it handled. We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. 
Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Do you fly a lot? Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. I'm with you there. You seem to know a lot about wizard chess. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? That's just how it is. It's always easy to math off when you're not actually playing the game. It's like when people watch the game shows on TV and they're like, Why didn't you say this answer, you fucking idiot? But you know, if you was in that chair on national TV and they asked you a question, even if it's obvious, you might get it wrong from the pressure. That's just life, right? Someone needs to play her against wizard chest, uh, chess. I'd play her. I'd probably slaughter you. I ain't played chess in years. Farewell then. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. She's going to be a sassy one. Hopefully we don't have to interact with her ever again. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Will you sit standing in the corner? Oh. Are you watching Imelda? Are you checking her out, mate? You can't be doing that. I, I think I heard one. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Is he blind? That is a bad name for a kid, Ominous. You can't name your kid Ominous. That's mean. <laughs> Nah, nah, it's more like terrifying. Having everybody stare at you is terrifying. I'd much rather have arrived on time and without a dragon attack en route. I'm sure. How horrible. I can only imagine. Well, it's good to have you in Slytherin. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Yeah, he must be, he must be blind. Do mermaids often appear outside the common room? Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along though. They're known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Well, they, they enjoy it. Did you suspect you'd be in Slytherin? Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Ah. Nice meeting you, mate. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Okay. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> oh man, it's so fun to just spin these things. I do this shit in real life. Like when I was in work uh, the other day, I work in a school for those of you that don't know. Uh, and uh, there was a globe, just a normal globe on one of the tables. And every time I walked past it, back and forth out of the classrooms cleaning, I spun it. Every time without foul. I must have gone in and out of the classroom about eight or nine times, and I spun it every time. <laughs> I'll say the other day, it was probably a couple of weeks ago, actually. It was in January. Meet Professor Weasley outside the common room. I'm not sure which side to have my face on, so I'm probably going to have my face on the usual side, on the right side of the screen. If I do put my face there, I'm probably blocking my health bar, so apologies about that. But uh, I want to have the objective visible so you guys and girls know the objective. And also you might want to see the mini-map as well. I hope you don't talk too long, uh, Professor Weasley, because I've got to end the video in a minute. morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. 
can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the Headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. That is a hefty book. But everything's so cool, Hogwarts. Why can't school be like this? What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. Oh, wait on a minute. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Why can't I open up that chest? Oh, look at that statue. They like mermaids in the Slytherin house, don't they? This field guide is basically what you get in every single game. It's just going to track all of the different things you do, the different challenges, uh, all of your collectibles. It's stuff like that. She's making it seem like it's something important for school, but it's basically just what you would get on every menu in every video game, but have turned it into a book. Now, let me see if I can look at it. If I press options... Oh, no, it doesn't come up. How about the touchpad? I guess I've got to wait. Oh, ridiculous. <laughs> Normally it comes up. All right, um, before she starts speaking a bunch more, I'm going to have to end the video now, Wolf Wolf. It's, uh, I'm going to keep these videos around 40 to 45 minutes. I think this one might be a little bit shorter, but that's purely because uh, if I go to the next bit of dialogue, uh, Professor Weasley is going to talk a lot. So uh, we can't be doing that because then it might be 50 minutes long and then it takes five hours to render. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, Wolf Morphets. Hopefully you've enjoyed this second episode of Hogwarts Legacy on the PlayStation 5. And yeah, like, share, and join the pack today.